Thailand is the most visited country by Indians and over lakhs of people every year visit Thailand and Thailand have also made visa free for Indians and this is one of the best times to travel to Thailand is from November to March. So in this video, I'll be sharing my experiences on the most common scams in Thailand that you need to be really aware of, especially when you're a first time traveler, you have to be double careful of what's going to happen with you because Thailand is known for the party culture and party place and also it's got some beautiful temples and shrines that you can also visit. So in this video, I'll be covering seven most important scams in Thailand that you need to be aware of in 2024. So I've made down a list of the most important scams and the last one is going to be the most important scam because a lot of people have asked me regarding the same. So without wasting any time, let me start with the first scam that you need to be really careful about is the taxi scam guys. So what happens with taxi scam? I'll share my own personal experience that we got scammed when we went to Thailand for the very first time. So what happens is when you land in the airport, there are several ways to reach the city. You can, if you're going to Pattaya, you have a bus and if you're going to Bangkok itself, you come, you go from Bangalore to Bangkok and you land in Bangkok airport. Now you are confused on where to go. This was way back when I went to my first ever trip to Thailand. This was the most difficult thing. So when you go approach any taxi, whether you are, whether you want to roam inside the city or whether you want to roam from you want to go from airport to the city, uh, you go for a taxi driver and, and ask for the price, how much is it to this hotel? So he's going to say 100 or 200 baht, just an example. And at the time he takes you to, the, to your hotel and at the time of getting down, he says, you have to pay me 1000 baht. And this has happened with a lot of tourists. Do not use taxis, guys. Do not use meter taxis or do not use any prepaid taxis in Thailand at all. The best way, the best commuting way in Bangkok, especially or Pattaya or Phuket is to use Bolt or Grab. I've made videos on both of them. That is the best way to commute around Thailand is to use Grab or Bolt. I completely understand there is a lot of traffic in Bangkok, but in Pattaya, instead of reaching out to tuk-tuks or or taxis you can certainly reach out on these apps so that you can get the drivers very easily and you can pay what is shown in the app just like Ola or Uber and there is no there is not going to be any scam with you because you have already a registered user you have registered with your mobile number and you are paying what is shown in the app just like Ola or Uber guys this has happened with a lot of tourists so I recommend you to please be aware and cautious whenever you are approaching a taxi or a prepaid taxi or a meter taxi in Thailand so the next most common scam is the walking street scam. Walking street is a paradise. It's a fancy, pa fancy paradise for whoever is going to Thailand. There is a lot of Indian discourse as well in walking street and walking street scam is very, very common with Indians guys. Let me tell you this. Whenever you're walking uh, to walking or whenever you're just uh, taking a stroll in the walking street, many, many bar girls will approach you saying uh, one drink is just five baht you can just watch come here you can watch free live shows and uh, they're going to say one beer is like 10 or 20 baht or maximum 50 baht that's all so you're you're you as a group or two or three people are going to go inside and once you go inside they're going to offer you a drink and you will spend about one or two hours for example and then when you come out they are going to charge you a whooping bill of thousand or two thousand baht this is again happened with a lot of my my own friends so please be aware of this do not fall for this trap do not go into any discourse prior knowledge to what the disco is about what is the cover charge or what is the fee of getting into any disco you have to be very very careful because this scam will loot your money and even if you go to the police police are obviously going to look at the situation this is a proper tourist scam so they will reverse you saying did you did you check properly did you know the rules properly and we all know how is, how is it going to end so i highly recommend you not to fall for this trap or uh, go behind a bar girl enter the bar for what they promised and it will be a big rip off for you but it doesn't matter whether a Thai person is approaching you or Indian person is approaching you the scam is going to be same guys so I recommend you to be very very extra cautious whenever you are going to walking street there are a lot of scams happening and the third most common scam in thailand is the tuk tuk scam so what happens in tuk tuk is you know if you in pattaya especially when you board a tuk tuk if you pay 10 baht or something you can get down wherever you want those tuk tuks are very safe so what ha what would be happening is if you are an indian especially it happens a lot with indians and if you are walking in beach road or anywhere in pattaya 
some or the other guy tuk tuk driver will come and ask you uh, do you need uh, do you need uh, massage i'll take you to massage it's only 100 baht it's only 200 baht he'll i can take you to safari world i can take you to tiger park it's only 100 baht and once you feel that this is okay this is a very cheap price i need to take a chance so once you enter the tuk tuk he is going to roam the city and is going to reach the destination and at the end of destination he is going to say you have to pay me 500 baht and again the same like similar scam to taxi scam tuk tuks are a huge scam there are other tuk tuks as well where you can see a lot of people will be sitting if you just uh, stop the tuk tuk if you get down wherever you want you just have to pay 10 baht per person that is very reasonable guys that is no problem in that but if you are if you are any time uh, if a tuk tuk stops near you when you are walking and says he is going to take you to a massage parlor he is going to take you uh, to uh, to a bar or to any attraction then please be very careful he is going to scam you at the end uh, there there have been a lot of cases like people have uh, people have lost 500 1000 2000 baht this is a very very common scam in thailand it is not only in pattaya the same goes with phuket bangkok or chiang mai these scams are very very common guys so when next time when you are using um, uh, when next time when you are planning to commute within pattaya take use grab or bolt and take these do not fall for do not fall for tuk tuk scams so the next scam that is the most popular scam is ticket for attraction so let's say you go to tiger park and if you want to take tickets in tiger park uh, they are going to say just entry into the tiger park into small medium or large tiger let's say example to take a photo and let's say large tiger photo is around 1000 baht so they are going to say uh, 1500 baht is the fee 1000 baht for the tiger and 500 baht as an as an incentive for the person who is going to give you the photo and this is not the case online that's why i always say book the attractions in the website given in the description below you will also get a 15 percent flat discount whenever you are booking through the link and if you're a first time user there is a lot of terms and conditions but if you book through the link below it will really help you a lot in terms of uh, going to the attractions and just showing the qr code via the app or the website or the printout and you can enter enter into the attraction easily without any scam so once you show this they are obviously going to verify the qr code and whatever is promised to you in the in the website or in the app it is going to be given to you and this happens with underwater world pataya floating market tiger park coral island everywhere guys so be sure to take your tickets in advance from the link in the description below so that it is going to really really help you a lot and you will not fall for this uh, uh, attraction scam at all guys and the next scam that i want to talk about is of course the beach shack scam so you know pataya beach or phuket beach or jomitan beach which is also there in pataya so these beaches are very popular with tourists and if you want to uh, sit in the beach like they give you kind of a shack that's like how you see in goa if you want to sit in the shack for one hour usually they will say, they will tell the price you have to ask the price up front so one hour will be somewhere around 100 baht where you can spend one hour of time in the shack without without using anything like water or beer it is not at all free but just to sit you will have to pay 100 baht per one hour approximately but nowadays what is happening is you just ask for the shack and they'll give you the shack and it and once the one hour is over they'll ask you to pay a fancy price like 300 or 400 baht and this price you need to verify it immediately before before you take the shag, you have to settle the price. You'll have to discuss the price and say, okay, one hour, 100 baht, one hour, 120 baht, that's it. But if you don't discuss the price and if you sit in the shack, they are definitely going to scam you saying, uh, we did not discuss about the price, which is half is your mistake. And they will tell a fancy price, which you'll have to pay. If you call the police, you know how it's going to end. It is not going to end good for you. It is going to go south. So always discuss the price, whatever you're buying, whether in a shop or in a beach shack, always be careful to discuss the price, guys. It is you need to be very very careful because this is a very very common scam in thailand and it happens again with indians there are a lot of indians in thailand and this scam is very popular with indians because usually we don't discuss the price and we go sit and then uh, this happens just ask how much before you occupy a beach shank which will really really help you a lot so the next scam i want to discuss uh, here is guys is the water activity scam so water activity scam, I will just speak in detail so what happens is if you go to pataya beach a lot of people will be asking you like let me take you to you know jet ski or uh, water activities uh, um, maybe a balloon ride or something there will be a lot of rides a lot of sports activities in thailand like water sports activities and you uh, you 
you take their uh, input there's going to say 500 or 1000 baht for the entire water activity items and we are going to finish in two hours he'll take you to coral island which is like around half an hour journey from pataya beach and uh, once you are done with this he is going to see this water skiing machine had a crack or uh, had a scratch you need to pay 5000 or 10000 baht you can see videos online just just go to youtube and type water sports ski or water sports activity pataya scam or thailand scam you will see a lot of people getting scammed a lot of foreigners get scammed in this and this is very very common guys so if you use any jet ski or anything like a balloon ride or a, or a boat ride anything they're going to say this is a scratch you need to pay 10,000 rupees maintenance charges because we need to pay so much for us to recover this so this is a huge 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 scam again if you want to book any water sports activities you can refer to the link in the description below it is very convenient and very easy to just book it go to the place and take a photograph before you start the sports activities take a photo or a video show them this is already the condition here and you're not going to pay anything extra you're just going to pay uh, you're not you're just going to pay whatever the fees that is being given in the voucher or if you've already paid it you need not pay anything guys so you can check those links in links in the description below i've given links for almost all the city in thailand including chiang mai so you can check that out as well so do not fall for this water scam guys water scams repeatedly water sports activity scams repeatedly of happening in thailand from so many years and if you fall for it definitely you'll have to come out of it paying by paying 5000 or 10000 but they are going to look at your behavior if you feel scared you are going to be definitely scammed so please do not fall for this scam and the last and the most important scam as soon as we think about a beach kind of a city like goa so you think you can take a vehicle for rent roam around like how we do in goa like if we go in goa we take a car or a bike for rent and we roam around entire goa for like three days four days they're going to say the price and you need to pay some five thousand rupees or something at once and once you return your vehicle depending upon the condition they're going to give the advance back in goa it is very genuine but in thailand you have to provide your passport original passport for you to get the vehicle whether it's car or bike once you give the passport you are you are on the wrong end because you don't have your passport you don't have leverage for them to negotiate so once even if you take photo or video of the vehicle once you give your passport you cannot go back to your country because passport is with them and when you return your vehicle they're obviously going to check the check the quality of the vehicle they're going to say there is a scratch here there is no there is a problem in accelerator there is a clutch issue there is a steering issue and they are going to rip you off lakhs of rupees guys so this is something i always advise people do not take bike or car for rent in especially thailand especially pattaya or chiang mai or phuket do not take in even in koh samui do not take this you will definitely fall for the scam lot of people in front of me when i went to pattaya were crying because they are charging 10000 to 20000 baht and if you don't pay that they are they will not give your passport back even if you go to police station it might take a longer process to to settle this but you would have missed your flight or you would have missed the next destination on the trip will be a huge loss so rented vehicle scam is is, is a rip off is a loot in thailand you can just go to youtube again you can just see rented vehicle scam thailand a lot of people have fallen for these scams a lot of people from the uk a lot of people a lot of foreigners come from the europe from europe who have been scammed left and right and a lot of less indians actually use this rented vehicles but even then i've seen a few indians take it out in in phuket which is again easy money guys for them if you if you if you're not careful it's easy money like i said even if you take a video or a photo of the vehicle you are going to get scammed if the vehicle is given to you without taking the passport it happened to me so when i went to coral island i need not have to submit my passport i i just gave my driving license uh, indian driving license not even international driving license i told him i only have this if you want you can give me the vehicle so he gave the vehicle and when i gave the vehicle back he gave me my driving license and even if it doesn't give you the driving license is completely all right because it is you can come here and apply for a duplicate one if he says something you just ask him to keep it and you can come to your home country and you can apply for a duplicate driving license this is non suggestible but this is something that that is uh, most common with tourists and uh, my high high recommendation is not to get scammed in the rented uh, when it comes to rented vehicles guys and also i will i would want to mention some bonus so when you're staying in pattaya do not stay in area called soi 6 it's very kind of very shady not not advisable area to stay like in a room as a room or something so always stay in sukumit sukumvit sukumvit is a good area in bangkok and similarly in pattaya anywhere close to the beach road is is a good place to stay guys so do not stay in the walking street or in soi 6 soi 6 it's going to be very noisy and because of the noise 
there is there is there's it's a very shady area guys and even if you are ripped off or something when you're not there in your room those those possibilities have also i've seen that people suffer with those kind of things as well so do not stay in soy 6 or near the walking street stay close to beach road next to the beach road the area is very pleasant and very good so i have already made some dedicated videos on the same on which hotel you have to choose in bangkok and pattaya so my suggest my recommendation is uh, is would to look at these hotels if you like it then go for it so i stayed in one of the most friendly hotels in pattaya and bangkok the people were very good the hotel people were very good and the and the staff were actually very good so i actually arrived very early i instead of 2 o'clock i arrived at 11 o'clock so then i told i'm a youtuber i'm going to vlog your hotel they allowed me early check in and this has not only happened in pattaya it's happened in a lot of places even in europe for that matter even in amsterdam so that's a benefit if you're a vlogger you can certainly tell you're going to make a video about the hotel and good write some good reviews you have a chance of at least getting a free breakfast or early chicken in my case it was early chicken because breakfast was already complimentary for me in pattaya so i hope you remember these scams uh, please be careful please be pragmatic and uh, please uh, ask the price uh, of whatever you buy in thailand it's very risky and please make a note of it if you're buying something take a video take a photo of it and be sure like this is the condition and keep informed and do not hand over your passport to anyone uh, for that matter do not give your passport to anyone always have the passport with you keep the passport in the safe in the room do not carry it with you and if someone is asking passport and then they're going to rent you something do not go for that scam guys because passport is the most important document and there is no indian embassy in pattaya there is only indian embassy in bangkok as far as i know so you have to travel to bangkok to get the duplicate passport or if something happens if you lose your passport you have to be really careful so these were like common scams in thailand especially if you're visiting thailand for the very first time there are huge chances of falling into these scams so i hope with this video will help you and very very informative uh, i'll catch you guys in my next video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to whoever is going to thailand again i hope this information is very very helpful if you want any urgent information uh, follow me and then ping me on instagram i'll respond to you immediately or comment in the comment section i'll respond as soon as possible i hope this video again guys for the third time it was very informative i'll catch you guys in my next video